Hey YouTube, it's Mal with Oldest Reptiles, and we're a little late on this video topic. We're going to get this out pretty quick, uh, as soon as Kirk can get it edited and get it up. I almost call him Kirk, because you guys do that all the time and screw me up. It's actually Kirk. It's, it's a C-U-R-T, actually. He gets a lot of K-U-R-T, and he doesn't really care, but I get a lot of Kirk like he's the captain of the starship, probably because my enunciation sucks. Anyway, we are late getting to the party on this, and uh, they... they tell you man that government did something and snuck some crap through and of course if i'm talking about u.s government stuff i'm sure a lot of you are going well at least two of you uh, at least one of you <laughs> it's probably going well i'm in canada that doesn't matter to me or i'm in europe that doesn't matter to me or i'm clear across. it does and the reason it matters to you what america does is because the end of the day we are the still i think the largest economy in the world if not we're a close second and <laughs> we don't want to admit china's ahead of us but we are the largest economy in the world and so if our economy and the animal trade suffers Yours does by default. Capiche? That's what happens, y'all, because it's a global market. We run that shit. Uh, it is what it is, man. I mean, it just is. So, what is going on and why am I so angry and fired up? Well, I'll tell you, uh, as you guys know, we support US ARC. We've, we've been a member of that. We've bought stuff at auction. We've done some things. But US ARC can't do everything, and you can't just give them some money every year and expect them to fix crap for you. So we are going to challenge you to get on some of these people who just voted to take away your rights or make an overly um, overreaching government uh, overlord that we we're all supposed to lick the boots. Man, we got away from a king. We don't need a new one. Uh, and I'll explain what I mean in that because I'm not talking about who sits in the White House. I'm talking about the, uh, let's see here, I want to make sure I get his title right. The Secretary of the Interior. If you know who that is, you're a better man than me because I don't um, don't care to because they're going to be irrelevant. But they're not irrelevant. Lost my pen. If we don't fight this, so what has happened? Where are we at? There's this whole act about a whole bunch of stuff, including like you know not dealing in shark fins, which that doesn't bother me. It's probably a good thing to not deal in shark fins. Uh, and then at the very end. Well, it's on the House side of things. So the Senate hasn't voted on it yet. But the U.S. House has. It voted on February 4th, and it passed it in a very, very close race. Uh, so it only passed by a handful of votes, and it went almost directly down party lines. Okay, uh, Although I don't really think the issue is party-related. We have to fight both parties on this. Um, but it did go about party lines. Because they, they kind of snuck it in there at the end, because they knew this crap couldn't stand on its own merits. And while I don't think it's necessarily legal if it gets challenged too much, we don't want to let it get in there and then have to go through and challenge it down the road. So what's happening? We've all heard of the Lacey Act. A lot of people don't know what the Lacey Act is. It's about protecting some uh, endangered animals and things like that and invasive species and yada, yada, yada. It's been around for a long time. The Lacey Act in and of itself isn't necessarily a, a super bad word, but when they start adding crap to it or trying to modify it to take more power, that is a problem. And so what is going on in this? Well, first of all, there was a really minor change that they just passed. Seems very innocuous. Uh, they changed the word from shipping shipping across state lines to transporting across state lines. Why is that important? Well, let me tell you, man, I don't live very far from the Nebraska border to the north of me, and I don't live very far from the Missouri border to the, the east of me. Whew. Directions are not my friend. And if I want to go to a reptile show and they say you can't transport something across state lines and they slap ball pythons on the list, which you're saying will never happen, don't be so sure because the next thing I'm going to tell you. Um, that I can't even transport my babies across state lines, locking my economy into, into Kansas. Now, if you're in California, maybe it ain't so bad because California's a big... Kansas ain't that big of an economy, y'all! And it's bad for who, no matter if you are in California because of competition there. And if you can't get that out of your state, it's going to become problematic. It's going to kill shows because most vendors aren't necessarily from the state that they're at a show in, including when we go or other places. Uh, Tinley Park, be gone. You think everybody in Tinley Park's from Illinois? Think everybody going to Daytona Beach is from Florida? And even if it, even if you, they are, and you go there, and you buy one, and you drive home, U.S. Fish and Wildlife could post up at the border, stop cars, for whatever reason they could think of, and don't tell me why we'll just drive good, run probably some kind of canine that can be trained to sniff animals. Trust me, they exist. Uh, they do exist. They use them in uh, places like shipping food. And bust you. Truth. Fact. Can happen. If you think, well, that's an illegal search. It's not. It's not because you have no expectation according to case law in the air surrounding your vehicle. Ain't that a bitch? It's a good thing it's coming in from drug law. But there is no expectation of privacy in the air outside of your vehicle. Because it's air outside where anybody can walk up to. Inside your vehicle, yes. That's a whole other thing. I ain't going to get into that. But, uh, 
So you're probably thinking, okay, again, this is not going to apply to me unless you deal in larger snakes because it does also reverse the win that U.S. Arc already had, meaning they would be able to slap your anacondas, some of your other things back on the list that were previously removed, like your retakes, your anacondas, etc., etc. And you're still thinking, for most of you, for a few of you are going, what the hell right now? And you're already pissed. A lot of you are going, I don't deal in big snakes, so well, I don't like this. It really doesn't affect me. Horse shit. Uh, because it's also going to form what's called... Well, the first thing I want to talk about is a whitelist. Right now we have a blacklist, and it's going to make a whitelist. Um, the difference in a blacklist and a whitelist, and again, these are pretty stupid names, and I would be curious where they came from, is on a blacklist, everything on the list is bad. Okay? If they put a reticulated python on the blacklist, it's blacklisted, can't be imported. That's how the Lacey Act works now. There is currently a blacklist. They have to work to put an animal on said blacklist. Okay, And once it's on there, then it's hard to get off. Um, that's the current situation. This would change that to a white list. The white list means the animals on the white list are good. But guess what? It's the same thing. Right now, you know, we have to, they have to fight and prove an animal's bad to put it on there. We would have to fight to have an animal put on the white list. So everything is assumed bad. Everything is assumed bad until it's on the white list. So that can stop importation of almost anything that they want to stop importation of. Oh, and guess what? We had this little thing called a pandemic, which uh, has been very hotly debated about how it started, whether it was eating some bad bat meat, some heard bad snake meat, I heard a lab in China, heard all kinds of things, and I'm not here to say which one's right. This isn't some weird conspiracy theory or anything like that, so don't get on the media YouTube. <clears throat> uh, but <laughs> the fact of the matter is that right there, that, well, this could bring a zoonotic disease that could go to humans, look at COVID, because COVID started as a zoonotic disease, if you believe the Chinese uh, government, then that is enough right there to not allow that animal on the white list. Done. Doesn't matter the size of it. Doesn't matter. It's not invasive. It's dangerous to humans. See how that happened? And let's talk about getting them on there really, really fast, because you're saying, well, I'm not importing stuff. I'm not a guy who's going to import a brand new gene, and we got 3,000 genes to play with. We really need one more slight difference. Probably not. But <laughs> that Secretary of Interior I mentioned, that guy uh, or girl, whoever it is, they would be given the right under this new portion of the Lacey Act to say this animal's banned. This animal's now on, on the Lacey Act. It's banned from being transported across state lines, banned from being reproduced. It's banned from all that. It's now a member of the Lacey Act. And they can just do that at will. And then it becomes in 460 days after being published. Ain't that fun? So if you get the wrong person in that office, they can act like a damn dictator and just slap some stuff around and take away your rights. That's, that's what they voted on. That's what the House voted on. And let me tell you, I'm going to go through in a minute, and I'm going to tell you the people who voted for them. I'm going to do it as quick as possible because it is kind of boring. But I think it's important to know if somebody that you're going through in your state and you're checking a yes for in a ballot box is voting to take away your reptile rights. And, and what I'm going to do, if you hear one of your members' names or look it up yourself and find them on there, I want you to contact them. I will be contacting mine. I can promise you that. I will also be contacting my senators because this hasn't been through the Senate yet and tell them my expectation for how they vote. And you may think, okay, like they care. They do care if there's enough voices heard. Take these people's jobs, hit them in the pocketbook and watch what happens. Politicians only work on one thing, money. And if they can't get all that money from all their special interest groups, I shouldn't say only one thing, most politicians, uh, if they're not in office. Take away their office. Take away their job. Tell them what means a lot to you. Let U.S. ARC do their thing. But in the meantime, you also take some initiative and tell these guys how the expectation is for them to vote. Because what will happen is as this bill has passed the House, it's not law. It has to go to the Senate. They have a different bill that has been passed previously that does not contain the Lacey Act. It's actually fine, I guess. And they will have to reconcile that, and then it'll have to be passed again. When they send their reconciled, they pass a version back to the House to be passed again, if there's changes, and sent to the White House. So this, this fight's not lost, y'all. We're in the early stages. And you can swing, and all those House districts aren't very big, and guys win by small margins. So if they have a lot of people telling them, if you leave that Lacey Act in there, I swear to God I won't vote for you. I'll make sure none of my friends vote for you. I will stand on the corner and scream what an asshole you are to anybody who will listen. They'll go, mm, well, maybe I shouldn't vote for that Lacey Act because I got to keep my job so the special interest keeps rolling in. That's how it works. I ain't telling you it's a clean business, but that's a fact. So let's hear 
who this is. And I don't want to be party. This is not about parties. But to give you a full breakdown of what happened, it passed with 222 yeses to 10 noes. And two people said, I'm going to sit right here and not vote. Because they probably didn't show up because they probably hung over or something. I don't know. 210 what? Noes. 222 yeses. 210 nays. That means it's a 12-vote margin. If you swing seven votes, seven votes would be 217 to like 215 or something like that. We would we would kill this. Seven votes, y'all. Seven votes would do it. Uh, we don't need to swing a lot of people. It did go pretty much across Republican lines, or not Republican lines, uh, party lines. Democrat, <laughs> or not Democrat, Republicans, Democrats voted for it at a level of 221 yeas to one nay. So out of those 222 yeses, uh, 221 were Democrats. Now again, I don't care what your party affiliation is. I'm not asking to change. I'm asking to tell those guys to stop voting for this specific thing. If you want to vote for them for whatever else, that's fine. But make them stop doing this. Uh, Republicans, there was one yay, 209 nays, and two of those guys who sat on their hands and did nothing. <laughs> not voting to me, is almost as bad as voting yes. Because you're going to say, well, I'm going to sit on the fence. I don't want to piss anybody off. Negative. Get up there and do your job. You got voted in. Go do your job. If I just show up to work and said, you know what, I'm just going to be here, but I'm not going to do my job, I would get fired. Do your job. And their job is to go there and vote, in my opinion, no on stupid crap like this. So who in the independence there wasn't any? So let's, let's look. Let's look. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what state. Adams, North Carolina, voted yes. Get rid of him. Aguilar, California, get rid of him. All Red, Texas, gone. Uh, I can't even say this last name. Akin Kloss from Maryland. One, get an easier name to say and should be gone. Um, Axney from Iowa, get rid of them. Berrigan uh, from California, get rid of them. Tell them if they keep voting this, they're gone. Bass from California, a lot of Californias in there, just saying. Beatty from Ohio, Barra from California, Byer from Virginia, Bishop from Georgia, it's almost like a rap song. Blumenauer from Oregon. Um, Blunt Rock, Ch God, that's a cool name. I gotta give this guy this, cool name, terrible vote. Blunt Rockchester from Delaware. Uh, Bonin, Bonin Embassy? I'm going to get that one wrong. Oregon, Bordeaux, Georgia, Bowman, New York, uh, Brendan Boyle, Pennsylvania, Brown from Maryland, uh, Brown from Ohio, Brown Lee from California, Bush. Can't be related to the rest of the Bushes, can it? But if it is, get rid of them. Missouri, um, Bustos from Illinois, Butterfield from North Carolina, Car Carbajal from California, Cardenas from California, Carson from Indiana, Carter from Louisiana, Cartwright from Pennsylvania. I haven't heard of Kansas yet. That's awesome. Case from Hawaii, Kasten from Illinois, Castor from Florida, Castro from Texas, Sheffless McCormick from Florida, Chu from California, Ciceline from Rhode Island, Clark from Maryland, Clark from New York, Cleaver from Missouri, Clyburn from South Carolina, Cohen from Tennessee, Connolly from Virginia, Cooper from Tennessee, Korea from California, Costa from California, or Costa, Courtney from Connecticut, Craig from Minnesota, Christ from Florida, Crow, he should be eating that, from Colorado, Couillar from Texas, David's, damn it, there's a Kansas one, David's from Kansas, you voted wrong! You ain't gonna get my vote ever again. I don't think you got it the first time, I'll be honest. Uh, Danny Davis from Illinois, Dean from Pennsylvania, DeFazio from Oregon, DeGette from Colorado, DeLauro from Connecticut, Del Ben from Washington, Delgado from New York, De Demings from Florida, the Salinier from California, Dutch or Deutsch from Florida, uh, Dingle <laughs> from Michigan. Yeah, Dingleberry. Uh, Doggett from Texas. <laughs> Michael Doyle from Pennsylvania. Escobar. Okay, maybe you shouldn't vote out anybody with the last name Escobar. Like, off with their heads, right? Not his. Don't, don't No secret of service, but, you know, the Pablo. If he's related, be careful. Escobar from Texas. Eshu from California. Espalette from New York. Evans from <laughs> Pennsylvania. Fletcher from Texas. Foster from Illinois, Lois Frankel, Lois Frankel, Lois, tell me, yeah, Lois Frankel, Florida, Gallego, Gallego from Arizona, Garamendi from California, Garcia, Illinois, Garcia, Texas, Golden from, uh, Emmy, I'm just drawing a blank right now, sorry, sorry for people from Emmy, Gomez from California, Gonzalez from Texas, Gottheimer from New Jersey, Green from Texas, uh, Grijalva from Arizona, Harder from California, Hayes from Connecticut, Higgins from New York, 
Himes from Connecticut, Hosford from Nevada, Houlihan from Pennsylvania, Hoyer from Maryland, Huffman from California, Jackson Lee from Texas, Jacobs from California, J.P., J. Paul, J. Paul, J. Paul, not J. Paul. I don't think J. Paul would be. J. Paul from Washington, Jeffries from New York, Johnson from Georgia, Johnson from Texas, Jones from New York, Kali from Kalili from Hawaii, uh, Captor from Ohio, Keating from Maryland, Kelly from Illinois, Connor from California, Kildy from Michigan, Kilmer from Washington, Kim, not Jong-un, but just Kim from New Jersey, Kind from Wisconsin, Kinzinger from Illinois, Kirkpatrick from Arizona. God, why do they, why does this one have this name? I can't even, Krishna Muthuri, Krishna Muthuri from Illinois, weird name from Illinois, get rid of them too. Custer from New Hampshire, Lamb from Pennsylvania, Langevin from Rhode Island, Larson from Washington, Larson from Connecticut, Lawrence from Michigan, Lawson from Florida, Lee from California, Lee from Nevada, Ligger Fernandez from New Mexico, Levin from California, Levin from Michigan, Lou from California, Lofgren, California, Lowenthal, California. Can we just remove that state? Can it just be its own thing? We wouldn't have this problem. Uh, Loria from Virginia. <laughs> Lynch from Maryland. Malinowski from New Jersey. Carolyn Maloney from New York. Sean Maloney from New York. Manning from North Carolina. Matsuya from California. McBath from Georgia. McCollum, Minnesota. Uh, McEachin from Virginia. McGovern from Maryland. McNerney from California. Meeks from New York. Ming from New York. Mafum. Or Foom, maybe the M's silent. Mafoom from Maryland. Moore from Wisconsin. Morell from New York. Moulton from Maryland. Mervin. Mervin. From Indiana. Nadler from New York. Nap Napolitano from California. Nail from Maryland. Nagusi from Colorado. Newman from Illinois. Newman. Newman! So Jerry Seinfeld didn't vote for him. Norcross from New Jersey. O'Halloran from Arizona. Ocasio Cortez, of course, from New York. Uh, Omar from Minnesota, Pallone from New Jersey, Panetta from California, Pappas from New Hampshire, Pascal from New Jersey, Payne from New, New Jersey, uh, Pelosi, guess where she's from, California, great for stock tips though, that's how they get rich, just follow her on that, you just make a lot of money. Uh, Pearl Mutter from Colorado, Peters from California, Phillips from Minnesota, Pingree from me, uh, from me, is that Miss on Michigan, Emmy, Maryland, Maine, Maine, Maine. it is Maine, Emmy, you're Maine, I'm so sorry, thank you, Pocon from Wisconsin, I should go back to like third grade, Porter from California, Presley but not Elvis from Maryland, Price from North Carolina, Quigley, <laughs> Quigley, oh, Quimby, I'm thinking of Quimby from The Simpsons, Quigley from Illinois, Raskin from Maryland, Rice from New York, Ross from North Carolina, Robai Alred from California, Ruiz from California, Rupusberger from Maryland, Rush from Illinois, Ryan from Ohio, Sanchez from California, Sarbanes from Maryland, Scanyon from uh, Pennsylvania, Skolowski from Illinois, Schiff from California, uh, Schneider from Illinois, Schrader from Oregon, Schreier from Washington, Scott from Virginia, David Scott from Georgia, Sill from Alabama, Sherman from California, Sherrill from New Jersey, Cyrus from New Jersey, Slotkin from Mer Michigan, Smith from Washington, Soto from Florida, Spanger, Spanberger from Virginia. We're getting close to the end, guys, I promise. Spire from California, Stansbury from New Mexico, Stanton from Arizona, Stevens from Michigan, Strickland from Washington. It doesn't hold things unless you say the names of those people who are the offending party. Suozzi from New York, Swalwell from California, Tacano from California, Thompson from California, Thompson from Michigan, Titus from Nevada, Talib from Michigan, Tonko from New York, Tonko, Torres from California, Torres from New York, Trahan from Maryland, Trone from Maryland, Underwood, oh my god, like Frank Underwood from the Netflix show, from Illinois, Vargas from California, I wonder if they got elected because of that, you're like, oh, I know this guy, he was cool on Netflix, then he touched some kids, not cool, not cool actor, VC from Texas, Vila from Texas, Velasquez from New York, no means no, uh, Wasserman Schultz from Florida, Waters from California, Watson Coleman from New Jersey, Welch from Vermont, Wexton from Virginia, Wild from Pennsylvania, Williams from, from Georgia, Wilson from Florida, Yarmouth from Kentucky. If you heard your state, email those people, call their office, do something. Contact them because here's the cool thing. Well, I just called them a lot and I made fun of a lot of their names for voting like crap. And, and voting on crap that gets crammed in on the end without even thinking about how it affects people like us, they get another chance to do it. Because when it gets sent to the Senate and comes back, first of all, email your senator to try to get that out at the Senate level. I'm going to miss you, Penn. And then contact these guys. So when they vote again, 
it could come out. Because this, if they use it, and I'm never going to trust a bureaucrat not to wield the power they've been given. If they give the Secretary of Interior this power, maybe this one doesn't wield it, but you got another guy who's going to come in. And somebody will wield that. I promise you. Somebody will wield it because PETA's paying money or whoever's paying money. And that hammer will get wielded and it will affect all of us. So we must not only follow U.S. ARC, but we can't rely on them to do our job. And our job as citizens is to tell those politicians how we want them to vote. And if they refuse to vote the way we want, to throw them out of office by our vote. Uh, and if enough people vote against them, guess what? They're unemployed. And then we can put someone there to hopefully change this. But it's harder to change this if it gets through than it is to stop it right now. Contact those folks. Kurt, you want to add? No. Well, that was um, a lot of names. So sorry for that. I know that's not the most riveting TV. But know those names. Hear those people. Because they're your enemy right now for your livelihood and, and your passion and your hobby. That doesn't mean your enemy we should go out and, like, raise. You know, I'm not for that. But contact those folks. Tell them why it's important to you. Tell them you want sensible legislation and tell them those additions to the Lacey Act overreach need to be removed, no matter what party they're from. Uh, all right, guys, that's all I got. And you all should be already getting off of here and emailing your senators now for me. We are going to go now over to Patreon and talk a little bit more about how this has some effect on some things uh, and <laughs> what I think will happen if it does pass and what I think will actually happen, whether it's going to pass or not. Anything you want to add, Kurt? No. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.